now many people have many uh, you know explanation and definitions uh, if you ask anybody and you go and say what is bitcoin he might say it's a digital currency uh, or some will say you know it is used for bad reasons it is used in kidnapping it is used in dark net it is used for some reason it is used for this it is used for cyber hacks and you know cyber and all those bad things and bitcoin is a digital currency and nobody knows it's a ponzi scheme at times you know keep hearing these stories that's okay you know you know, i'm not getting to that that you know why from because it's only about the education so people who know bitcoin people who are educated about it their perception they keeps the, the that that evolves over the period of time but to begin with when i heard about bitcoin when my friend told me for the first time even my reaction to bitcoin was something like how can it be possible you know something that is not governed by anybody how, does this thing work is this a ponzi scheme for how long it will work who is the issuer then how who maintains the network so these were the various question that also uh, you know they, that actually motivated me to know this thing a little more that how this thing is has survived for the past say because i came to know in bitcoin in 2016 so it was like for 8 years this thing has been working let me just figure out how this thing actually got evolved now we are in 2022 so it, this thing has been working for the past you know 12 13 years so, i mean uh that there has to be something ponzi scheme doesn't work for 14 15 years ponzi schemes maximum they if if it was a ponzi scheme suppose then it would have uh, worked for 2 years 3 years maximum and then ponzi schemes they you know have a very bad end it would have ended pretty weird pretty on a bad note so by the way to begin with what is bitcoin bitcoin is nothing basically it's a software first you need to understand that bitcoin is a software and you can just download it on your pc or your laptop and and you can just run this software now what is the purpose of this software uh, the softwares are basically programmable languages right and they are designed to perform some action some some activity or some task uh, you know when you design a software the software is designed to perform some task right so what is this software what what bitcoin software does basically bitcoin software defines the rule of a decentralized payment network now till date we knew about the centralized payment networks like visas and mastercards right or banking or jp morgan or goldman sachs these were the entities that we knew these are central payment networks centralized payment networks now bitcoin is a software that defines the rule that how to run a decentralized payment network bitcoin is nothing more than that right and bitcoin defines the if there is a decentralized network and when there are people involved and then when people are putting in their resources right you are working for densu and there is a there are number of employees that are contributing to densu mission you are getting paid in salary right so if somebody is working in a decentralized payment network what is the incentive the incentive is bitcoin because if you are working in that network and if you are securing that network if you are contributing to that network you are getting incentivized in the form of bitcoin right so bitcoin is the incentive to run this decentralized payment network so bitcoin is a payment network also and it is a payment as well like for example what 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 i mean with this like for a visa network visa is a payment network dollar is the payment that is running on that network you got my point so suppose russia has a payment network of its own china has a payment network of its own so it is payment network is something else and the currency that runs on that is something else right so you know on a visa master on a visa payment network the currency is dollar but on a bitcoin payment network the the currency the the token the incentive that runs on that network is bitcoin itself so bitcoin is a payment also and bitcoin is a payment network as well and what it does bitcoin is a software that defines the rule how this decentralized payment network will work and those people who will Uh, give their provide their resources or who will 
participate in this decentralized payment network will be incentivized in Bitcoin. Simple. I'm sure today you must have got a very clear definition of Bitcoin, right? And this is just a uh, example through picture. You can see in a in a in a fiat system, you need uh, you need your you need to go to your bank. Then bank approaches Visa, Master, Western Union, PayPal, and then. What does that intermediary does? Intermediary debits your account, credits somebody else's account. You know, he, he and that's the only thing that, that intermediary does and, and that intermediary takes its cut. In Bitcoin, in Bitcoin, you can transfer value from peer to peer. Peer to peer base meaning is that without an intermediary, you can transfer one uh, monetary value from one geographical area to another geographical area you could have done it earlier as well p2p the only way to do is what do it in cash so suppose if i don't want to use any intermediary and i want to give one thousand dollar to my brother in us i had to take a flight go to us and give my brother one thousand dollars but was that feasible no so that is the reason i needed intermediary who can do this work for me now that intermediary started taking cut uh, right and it also started dictating terms and it also started accessing my database my ledger you know just to just to give uh, do that function of transferring that value from one place to another bitcoin revolutionized it imagine the kind of impact bitcoin has bitcoin they said okay we don't need an intermediary now we can transfer monetary value from one place to another without relying on this fortune 500 giants called visa and mastercard that have been surviving for ages and that have been multi-billion organization just because two people two entities want to transfer monetary value from one place to another right this is how bitcoin is uh, doing and bitcoin why bitcoin is getting uh, why bitcoin what is the biggest uh, contribution of bitcoin to this ecosystem to the entire humanity is that bitcoin solved the problem of double spending in a decentralized payment network now when i say that it looks a little heavier term let me just break this thing now what happens what is a, what is the meaning of double spending double spending is that you go to a coffee shop you buy a coffee and after having a coffee you come back again and say can you get me uh, can you return me back my 10 dollar i want to use somewhere else will that cashier will give you 10 dollars no because you have spent your 10 dollars now you can't go back and take your 10 dollars back no so that is that is how you know once once i say that digital currency digital currency is basically a digital data digital data at the end of the day can be copied and can be spent you know it, multiple copies can be created and it can be sent over the internet now suppose there is a bob and bob has one digital coin that coin can be anything right for that matter it is not only bitcoin i am talking about that bob want to spend his digital coin now he can very easily spend that digital coin twice because he just need to copy copy paste it multi create multiple copies and send it twice right now in a centralized system what is the solution solution is that when you want to spend your digital rupees or digital dollars there is the bank you know that that governs that bob is not able to spend his money more than once so the ledger the entire ledger of the uh, of the individuals is lying with the bank he the bank keeps a check that bob is not able to spend his money twice that to a digital money twice he should able to spend his money only once this is easy in a centralized system but what happens in a system like this which is decentralized there is no boss people are coming in and people are going out people are voluntarily joining this network and people are voluntarily exiting this network and nobody is the boss by the way only the software code has been written and the rules have been defined there right so in a decentralized uh, how this thing is achieved are you getting me that somebody should not be able to spend their money twice bitcoin solved this problem you got my point here the bank ensures that kashif should not be able to spend more than what he has in the bank the bank job is easy the bank it is it is expected from the bank right but what happens in a decentralized network 
that somebody should not be able to spend his money twice. And that is what Bitcoin did for the first time. And that is where all these currencies failed. The attempts before Bitcoin failed because they were not able to solve the problem of double spending. But why Bitcoin survived? Because Bitcoin, in Bitcoin, you can't spend your money more than once. You can only spend your money once, right? Digital money once. 